Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What are we going to be doing for right now? The answer is, is that I'm going to be reading through you the mythological, the serial mythological theater Mississippi Mythicizers, which is the story event for the Paul Bunyan event. Uh, I wanted to attempt to start reading through the story because someone had brought up on my Discord that he's not actually able to read any of the stories. But if I did videos on him, he would be able to watch the videos and actually experience the story that way. So while I don't think I'm the world's greatest speaker in terms of actually um, reading stuff out loud, as many people pointed out my constant mispronunciation of words, I figure, hey, if you're going through the event and maybe you don't have time to actually read it yourself, then I will read the story to you, and that's going to be the video. These are going to be released uh, basically throughout the week, and after this video, I will not be doing an introduction for any of them, and it will just be the story. And I think later on, maybe at the end of it, maybe I'll put all one big thing together, and maybe I'll also combine the story into um, itself, if you just want to experience the story, I guess, in and of itself without me talking, because I actually don't know if a lot of people put that up all in one together. But either way, I'm going to experiment with some of this stuff. I'm going to start doing it with this one because this is the most available event. And maybe I'll go back and start doing more of them. I did promise him specifically Water Monster Crisis. But because I was so busy trying to get stuff in order, I wasn't actually able to get it in time for Water Monster Crisis. So maybe I'll go back to that one. But either way, that was the intro for this one. I hope you like it. Uh, feel free to tell me how you feel, I guess, about the story as we go along. Uh, this will be the last time you hear from me. Because, again, I won't be introducing any of the other ones. And let's get right into the story now. Why don't you uh, go ahead? I don't have a transition. Snake drinking water. Tall tales. Yeah, haven't you heard of them? I have heard of them defined as stories which are presented as factual but contain wild or very exaggerated elements. The term itself is said to come from the frontiers of the United States in the time of the Old West. Yep! They were popular from the gold rush of the 19th century all the way to the 20th century. People told them all the time in bars or while they sat around campfires. It was usually lumberjacks, cowboys, and pioneers entertaining each other by spinning the most outlandish yarns they could. In fact, you're said to have originated in a tall tale yourself, Bunyan. Yep, yeah, it's kind of weird to think about. Anyway, all sorts of people show up in tall tales. There's John Henry, the steel-driven man, Pecos Bill, the cowboy, and Mike Fink, the brawling boatman. Sometimes you get real-life people, too, like Davy Crockett. That's quite the lineup. I see. These tall tales sound fascinating. Now I kind of want to look into these legends for myself. There are a lot of characters from tall tales. But now that I think about it, they might have been the embodiment of pioneers' hopes, dreams, and stuff. I see. Master, you know a lot about other countries and cultures, right? Do you know any tall tales from elsewhere? If you do, I'd really like to hear them. Hmm, good question. Maybe Gone By the Duck Hunter qualifies? Duck Hunter? Um, did he hunt? What made him special? Tell me about him. Oh. Da Vinci's calling for you, Senpai. She wants you to come to the command room. Aww, just when we were getting to the good part. I'm sorry. We oui, save me. Let's pick it up back after you get back. Sorry for calling you on such short notice. I figure you were just relaxing in your room. I was just talking about Gone By the Duck Hunter. Yeah, sounds like a real trickster. I agree, I think he must have been some kind of magecraft hunter who achieved success by surprising his targets. Hmm, 
hmm, that's all weirdly intriguing, but it'll have to wait until later. We just detected another minute singularity, and we want you to investigate. Business as usual, right? Anyway, this latest one is located near the Mississippi River Basin in early 21st century America. Mississippi? We've been to the US a few times now, but never near Mississippi. What else do we know about this singularity? Well, the thing with the minute singularity is that it's kind of floaty. I'm not really sure how else to describe it. Floaty. Oh, also, you're the only servants who can ray shift along with Wokey this time, so I'll be counting on you to keep her safe. Understood. I wish I could send at least two others along to be safe, but it looks like that's just not an option at this time. Sorry. That's okay. We'll be fine. Right, Senpai, I'll do my very best. That's a spirit. Now I can send you two on your way without needing to worry. All right, then. Let's go get you ready to ray shift. Don't worry. We'll be backing you up from here like usual, and this time I'll make sure we don't lose connection. Just relax and trust you're in good hands. Ray shift complete. Look, Senpai, that must be. The Mississippi River. What a beautiful view. That's the Mississippi, all right. Right. The Mississippi is one of the longest rivers in the world, and it's arguably symbolic of the entire North American continent. It's long been used for commerce, watering crops, transportation, in many ways it's essential to the local populace. And now there's a minute singularity here. Right, it's a very serious situation. I hope we can find the problem and repair it as soon as possible. But right now, I don't see anything that looks wrong or out of place. I do. You do? Where is it, Senpai? That boat is way too old-timey for this era. Oh, you're right. I don't think it's been... Oh, you're right. I don't even think it has an engine. Is it a rowboat? As explained, this minute singularity is supposed to be in the early 20th century America, meaning modern times, so... Huh? We lost our connection to Caldea. I guess this means we're on our own yet again. Guess this thing's getting going then. Look over there. Is that a sailing ship? The river twists and turns so much it's hard to see clearly. Still, something about this silhouette just doesn't seem right. Let's go check it out. Right. I'm with you every step of the way, senpai. Master, is that really? It sure is. I knew it. It looks just like the famous Takarabune treasure ship, a traditional Japanese symbol of good fortune. But what's a Takarabune doing in the Mississippi River? Senpai, look, it's picking up speed and getting away. Huh? Hang on, it just changed direction. Now it's heading straight for us. What's going on? Hey, I see someone coming out. What is this feeling in my chest? Is our long yearned for meeting finally drawing near? Well, if someone's calling, we better answer. Hang in there, boss. Hey, who told you to turn us around? Oh, hi, Miss Anning. I thought I told you to call me boss. I'm detecting magical energy signals. Those people are all... Servants. So then... Right, the Holy Grail's probably on that ship. 
So you follow this here, huh? Then get a load of this. All right, hold it right there. Damn it, she's already caught up. Master, look, that looks like... Paul Bunyan? But not quite like the one we know. I can't tell if she's bigger or smaller. Right, she looks a little taller and older now, like a teenager. Hot lemme! Hands in the air, nobody move. <laughs> this is a stick up. You want a piece of me? So you're refusing to comply, huh? Then we'll just have to see who's stronger. They're attacking us too? Please get back, Master. Cut, cut. Supervisor, I don't think these are bad guys. You don't? Who gives a hoot? Let's get them anyway. Wait, we just got swept up in all this. We don't mean you any harm. Oh, sorry. I thought you guys were with Lancer. The hell they are. Did you not see me trying to kill them? I guess we got off on the wrong foot. You'll forgive me though, right? Here, how about a makeup hug? Uh, okay. That's it, beautiful shot. Just hold that pose. Huh? Um, would you mind asking permission before filming us? I appreciate your enthusiasm, writer, but she's right. You can't film people without their permission. Oh, it's fine. We just have to make them our employees. Buena idea. Um, I'm sorry, employees? You know, employees. We want you to work for us. Come on, writer. You gotta hype it up. Here, let me try. So what do you two say to joining my gang? My name's Paul Bunyan, and I want you to become my delightful companions, aka employee, so we can all make myths together. Mm. Myths? My name's Paul Bunyan, and I want you to become my delightful companions, aka employee, so we can all make myths together. I knew it, you really are Paul Bunyan. Oh, so you've heard of me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm flattered. Oh yes, of course. You're the giant lumberjack who helped shape the USA into the country it is today. You're a hero to the people far and wide. You've had all kinds of incredible adventures. Also, you registered as one of Caldea's heroic spirits. Uh, though you seem to be a little different from uh, our Bunyan. Oh wow, you know about my lumberjack days? Huh, that's a little embarrassing. Ha ha ha, what's wrong girly, ain't too proud of those days? You can talk? Let me introduce you. Uh, this is Mike, my partner in Noted Bad Influence. He was the first to join my delightful companions. Nice to meet you, honey buns. You too, missy. I'm Wokey. Honey buns? Oh, fur. Cut that out, Mike. Don't talk around other people, okay? I don't need you getting us into another fight. And I'm the delightful writer. I'm Mash Cure Light, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Are you filming me without asking again? No filming us without permission. Oh, I'm sorry. Professional habits die hard. But you're right. This isn't really the time to film. Let's recruit these two later, Supervisor. Right now, we need to do something about Lancer. Would you stop calling me Supervisor, Writer? It's so stuffy, and it's not even kind of cute. Then what should I call you instead? CEO? Madame President? I mean, yes, I am those things, but I was hoping for something a bit more dazzle. I'm not a lumberjack anymore, you know. I've gone from rough and tumble to fashion forward, from making my muscles flex to making hearts throb. Goodbye, Forest Hello fans. 
Now I've grown a forest of social media followers bigger than I've ever chopped down and my likes are piling up higher than popcorn at the movies. I've basically been reborn as Super Bunyan, a miraculous leader born from all adoring fans' likes. Super Bunyan? You said your name was Wookie, right? You'll be one of my employees, right? Right? She really comes on strong. As I was saying, Supervisor, recruitment can wait until... Don't be ridiculous. What could be more important than growing our roster of employees? Boss Bunyan? Bonjour, Caster. It's good to see you again. Let me introduce you, Wookie. These two are Caster and they're some of my delightful employees, too. It's an honor. And that over there is one of our other employee. A delightful answer. Call me that again and I'll dig you into a hole right through your skull. Oh yes, very delightful. So, she's in the band too, huh? Oh, don't mind Lancer. She's just shy. I told you, quit calling me by my class name. I'm not one of your employees. And I'm no ordinary Lancer either. My name's Anning, Mary Anning, and don't you go treating me like just another wide-eyed country girl. Mary Anning? Oh! You've heard of me? You have, right? Uh, yeah, yes we have. Though I've only skimmed the database entry for you. So then, are you Mary Anning, the famous paleontologist and fossil collector? Damn right! Believe it or not, I'm a scholar, and I've got a lot of friends in high places to boot. I see. Oh, Lancer, isn't there any other... Oh, Lancer, isn't there any way we can get along again? Sorry, but I'm taking this, uh, Takara Boon for myself. Its owner gave it to me fair and square. She's right. We let her have it on the honor of our Dekakoden. See? Got a problem with that? Dekakoden? Who's Dekakoden? There are legends in Japan of seven gods of fortune known as the Shichi Fukujin. Duck Koden is said to be one of their foremost members. So if they really are Daikakuden, the head of the Shichi Fukujin, then it would make sense for them to own the Takorabune. So if that's really Daikakuden Sakurabane, then... Right, I believe the Takorabune itself is the Holy Grail. So that's, so that's how it is, huh, Caster? That's too bad. Um, does that mean you're upset? I wouldn't say upset, just disappointed. I trusted you two, after all. Oop. But hey, you two are still my employees, right? Then it's fine. We can always try again. Now come on back to me. We can't come back to you, boss. We never left you in the first place. What was that? I thought you overgrown rats said you were going to follow me. Are you betraying me? Not at all. You're our boss too, of course. What the hell are you talking about? I thought you were rats, not moles. We are mice that come to the singularity on behalf of our busy master, Daikakoden. We're nothing compared to our master, the god of fortune. We are only a tool for a boss to use. So the more bosses we have to serve, the better. With more to serve, we can spread even more happiness. I don't believe this. You said you were giving me anything I wanted, right? Yes, that's why we let you have the Takarobune, just like you wanted. Then, then you said you wanted us to help you escape, so we did that too. Then will you do what I want too? I want you to come back right now, Caster, along with the Takarobune. We, um, glare. I'm afraid we can't make decisions on difficult issues like that on our own. So we have to ask both you bosses to talk this out and settle it between yourselves. Yeah, then let's settle this with skill. Bring it on, Bunyan, and may the best woman win. I'll keep the camera rolling. Make me look cool, okay? Alright, Lancer, as the leader of my delightful companions, I accept your challenge. 
It's Anning. My name is Mary Anning. In fact, I'll go one step further. I heard you're known as the president of the silver screen. For from now on, you'll bow to Mary Anning, queen of the Jurassic period. Go on, Plesiosaurus. Show him what the queen of the Jurassic period can really do. Another dinosaur? Huh? Huh? Squee! That was it? What, what the heck? My plesiosaurus should be a lot stronger. Did I not say I'm one of the strongest plesiosaurus of all time? Well, there will always be differences among individuals. And it takes a lot of time and effort to raise one properly, so... So what you're saying is it's still not full grown? Damn it, why didn't you say so sooner? Well, there you have it, that one didn't count. Let's do this again after he's fully grown. I'm gonna get you good next time, just you wait. Bye, Boss Bunyan, take care of yourself. Aw, oh, come on. What would you like us to do, Supervisor? What do you think we should do, Ryder? This footage is unusable. It was just a waste of film. I was thinking the same. I'm so glad you're one of my companions. In that case, what we need to do right now is to recruit more employee. Wookie, I need your help. You'll join my band, right? What do you want me to do? You're looking for the Holy Grail, right? I heard you talking about it with Mash. You guys aren't from around here, right? That's right. Senpai and I came to this minute singularity here as part of our mission to restore humanity. Then you guys can totally join my band. In fact, you have to. You saw for yourselves how Lancer got the Holy Grail. That's why this world is so messed up. Take a look around. Notice anything unusual? Unusual. Oh, there, I see something. Several somethings. Are those dinosaurs? Not all are truly dinosaurs, but I understand what you mean. Um, we've actually seen creatures like these alive and well before. We've seen wyvern-like phantasmals that wouldn't normally exist. But it's still sobering to see how much breadth a single part of an ecosystem like this can have. It's all Lancer's fault. She used the Holy Grail to release a bunch of Jurassic era creatures into the Mississippi River. You mean Mary Anning, the early 19th century English paleontologist who devoted her life to excavating fossils? She made some of the greatest contributions to early paleontology? Tips, delightful writer's production note. The term paleontology was coined by two scholars at almost the same time. At this time, the understanding of fossils was changing dramatically, going from being seen as a mysterious creation of God to markers of the passage of time in geological scale. This eventually led to the creation of the theory of evolution. By the way, Mary Anning died of illness in 1847, and Darwin's On the Origin of Species was published in 1859. That includes the discovery of complete large reptilian skeletons, especially Ichthyosaurus and Plesiosaurus. The latter of which we just fought a few moments ago. Plesiosaurus is Lancer's favorite. He's pretty cute, but I can't let him just run around unchecked. If we don't do something, these Jurassic creatures will overrun all of the Mississippi. So please, Wokey, help me stop, Lancer. Okay. Thank you. Huh? She just hugged her like it was the most natural thing in the world. And you're filming it too? And cut, great tick guys. Okay then, let's get going. We gotta follow the Takarabane. How do we do that? How else? By following the Mississippi River upstream. <laughs> 